Potatoes. 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 Hi, it's Thursday. Watch it Thursday, Thursday. I show it's Thursday and we get fucked. We drink very responsibly. <laughs> October bins. So one of my bucket list items as an adult is to be able to just make somebody a drink whenever. Like anytime someone comes over, it doesn't matter if I knew they were coming or not. It doesn't matter if I have mixers or not. I have enough in the bar area that I can make them a drink. With that, I've been exploring different spirits throughout 2017. In January, we did January where we explored gin drinks. The springtime, we did some simple vodka drinks. And now I thought would be a good time to do bourbon. Bourbon feels like fall, right? I make up things to suit my needs. If you're a bourbon drinker, you're probably like, you don't need to make a cocktail to drink bourbon. You should just drink it straight up. Well, guess what? Some of us don't have chest hair. So for those of us smooth chested people, I thought we'd learn how to make some classic cocktails. I've never made any of these cocktails, but they're classics. Like I should know how to make these. I mean, we should know how to make these. They're like perfect for being in your man cave. Excuse me, your person cave. Bourbon drinks are perfect for that. Specifically, I wanted to learn how to make an old fashioned, a Manhattan, and a Sazerac. Hopefully I can make them right, hopefully they turn out good, and hopefully we like them. Let's make these drinks. We're gonna start off with an old-fashioned cocktail. These have been coming up a lot in LA, like in mixology bars. Everybody's going back to Prohibition era drinks. It's really cool. You can wear suspenders while you drink it. Anyway, to make this drink, you will need bourbon. Hello. Duh. Angostura bitters. I know I'm not saying that right. I don't know how to say it. Angostura. I could Google it. Alexa, how do you say Angostura? I pronounce it Angostura. Angostura is what Alexa said, so it's probably wrong. Angostura bitters though, not to be confused with other bitters. A teaspoon of sugar or a sugar cube if you have one. And optionally, a splash of club soda. Very optional. I don't know whether to opt in or opt out. Probably in, just to see. Cool. So first we're gonna take our glass. Oh, this one's got lots of fingerprints on it. Yay. That's supposed to be there. To our glass, we're gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. Makes the medicine go down. Makes the bourbon go down too. We're gonna add two dashes of Angostura bitters. A splash of club soda. Optional, 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 optional. Next, we're gonna muddle the sugar with the Angostura bitters and the club soda. Beautiful, oh my goodness. Muddled. It smells like fall. This is the scent of fall. Next, we're gonna add two ounces of bourbon and some ice. Look at this nice filled ice tray. Now this person whose recipe I'm following says to stir this 50 times. I think he takes himself a little too seriously, but get it around 50 times, I guess. We're gonna, I just wanna do a good job, so okay. 50 times it is. I think I already did it like five times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 20, 20. I'm not even saying numbers anymore. So I'm gonna, 18, 50, did it, okay. I'm just gonna pour this into a strainer to strain. And instead of putting it back over ice, I have these whiskey stones that are really cool. They get really cold in your freezer, but then you put them in your glass and it doesn't dilute your drink. It keeps your drink cold without diluting it. Hey, innovation, America. I'm just straining our drink into our glass. Simple as that. Is this an easy drink? I don't know until we taste it, but it was very simple, which I like. Then we're gonna garnish with an orange peel. I feel like when they made this drink, they didn't have that good of garnishes back then. I was just like, let's just use the peel part. That's fine. And call me old fashioned. It's a family name. This looks, um, did I do it right? <laughs> this is what it looks like. Cool. I feel like you could add more or less of things to make it a more of a drink, maybe, perhaps? Let's taste it. Yeah, that tastes good. Come here. You like bourbon on its own, right? I do. I like bourbon all, all the time, every time. Okay, so I really like this, but I mean, it's basically just sweetened bourbon. It tastes oh. like, it tastes like, um, that honey bourbon, that, like, Tennessee honey. That's good shit, though. Did you let this sit for five minutes? No. With the stone in it? No. You're supposed I, to do no, that to I, achieve maximum coldness. Well, I chilled it with ice first. I stirred it 50 times with ice cubes. Well, okay, then. Just making sure. I mean, I'm a snob, you know. I'm a, I'm a real... Yeah, I got a real connoisseur I'm a, here. I'm a connoisseur temperature snob uh -huh. about alcohol everything. Totally, totally. You know me. Oh, I know you. Pure class. From the mountains of San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> this flannel really suits bourbon. It does, kind of, yeah. I feel like it looks like you drink bourbon. This is excellent. Yeah? This is really good. Yeah? Yeah. Sick! We good did job. it! You killed okay, it. Okay, there's one. One down. And all that took was having bitters on hand and some sugar. What? Like a little bit of sugar. What do you mean one down? For making many drinks? Just three simple drinks. Oh. <laughs> well, right then. I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> okay, why don't you go take that with you? Great. Bye. 
Bye. The next drink we're gonna make is a Manhattan. Also a simple drink to make. I've never made one, but it looks simple with simple ingredients. To make this drink, you will need bourbon, sweet vermouth, as opposed to dry vermouth that goes in martinis. Also two dashes of agnosura bitters and cherries for garnish. Okay, this one's really simple. We're gonna fill a glass with ice. And to our glass, we're gonna add two ounces of bourbon, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Totally nailing that name. Naming my firstborn child this. And one ounce of sweet vermouth. Can't say I've ever had sweet vermouth either. But these are some drinks that like, you just keep these in your bar. You're never gonna use this other than a Manhattan or maybe one other drink. Bitters, you'll use here and there just a little bit. So you'll always have like mixers without actually having mixers. It's a trick. It's a trickster. Stop. You stop. And we're just gonna kind of like stir it a little bit or you could shake it. Stir it, shake it. Love it. Take it. Stir it and shake it just to be sure. I just want to do a good job here. Then we're gonna strain it into a a glass like this, a martini glass. Why can't I have words today? Then we're gonna strain it into a martini glass. No reason, no logic goes into this. Other than it looks pretty. Is this enough? Maybe make it with more ingredients. I don't, I don't know. And add a cherry as a garnish. Cause we cute. And there you go. How easy was that? Cheers. Two down. That was super simple. Let's see if it's tasty. Whew, that's interesting. Definitely interesting. Honey, come taste this. Where's this guy? This is a Manhattan. Have you ever had a Manhattan? It's a girly drink, right? What? No. I can't remember all the drinks. No, it's not a girly I know I've had drink. a cosmopolitan. No. I've had, uh, I don't know, there's been some cities. I've had some city drinks for mm -hmm. sure. What other cities have you drank? I had a Bronx bomber. I don't know. I didn't that's I didn't that I've had bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's, it's weird. It definitely, um, it's, it's like, an old people drink. It tastes like I'm drinking old flowers out of a boot. Yeah, it tastes like you're, you're drinking something that your grandpa says, this will make you feel better. And it's like 18 <laughs> Five, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like in bed shivering and you have the flu and you're probably gonna die in eight hours. And totally. Like, Just drink this. Just drink that. For Christ's sakes. I also feel like it tastes like when the flowers die and they kind of smell bad, like in the vase. And then oh, you, yeah. You drink the vase water. Wait, yeah. you drink the vase water? No, I don't, but that's if well, I. How drink, would you know what that tastes like? Well, it smells like that. It smells like okay, how that right. tastes. Okay. Anyway, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. We don't like it. If anybody oh, okay. asks for a, a Manhattan, that's how you make it. What's that drink called? Oh, Manhattan. A Manhattan. That's a Manhattan. That's a Manhattan. I thought better of you, Manhattan. Now I'm mad. I can tell it gets you there quickly, though. I think that's probably why people get it. You can get there quickly with an old fashioned. It's the same shit. Yeah, that's true. That's way more. Anyway, important. let's move on to a Sazerac, our last and final simple bourbon drink. Can I help? Sure. You want to help? Yeah. This drink I used to serve at a bar that I cocktail served at, but I never actually tasted it. I think I didn't like it back then. I feel like this is all a, a euphemism for another man. With, but it's fine. It was another cocktail bar that I worked at, and I man, we did he, I mean, they like their Sazerac. Missed the taste a lot. I understand. Mm. To make this drink, you will need bourbon, Pernod's, uh, Pernod's bitters. Well Pichaud? done. No, pe Pichaud's. You're such a good host. Pichaud's bitters. I don't know how to pronounce any of these bitters. Who came up with these bitter names? It's simple. Pichaud's. 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 bitters. Okay, yeah. some of uh, Steve's favorite spirit, absinthe. Oh, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Why would you do it? Because. It's bad. It was a bad time. We're actually, you have actually have absinthe. Oh yeah, it's legal now. Yeah, it's not the hallucinogen kind. Yeah, absinthe. it smells like black liquor. See, that's my nightmare. I know, well, if we're not using it, Using it, don't worry. It's a trick. Oh, we need Pashad's bitters and Agnostura bitters. All the bitters. This drink is bitterful. I'm gonna need you to add yeah, a teaspoon it. of sugar to this glass. And then you're just gonna have enough water to moisten the sugar. Muddle that a little bit. That's a good muddling job. Wow. Thank Whoa. you. Whoa, wow, don't Thank hurt you. yourself. Aren't you happy you marry me? I am. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of the bourbon. 1.5 ounces. You're just making my arm look fat. What are you talking about? So you I, don't, I don't like to be at so your height. Good. It's like, eh. Mm. It's like, this is a way better side. Okay, I'm gonna tell the directions to you from this. Like this, right. this side's better. All right. It's cute. Okay. Look at it. Look at this. It's very oh, cheap. I didn't even see it. It's yeah, so but this side, look at it. it. Doesn't have it. It's not as Honestly, cute. Honestly, without my glasses, I, I just see light. I don't care what you think. I'm talking about right. them. Cool. I just want you to think I'm cute. I'm very chic and oh, I'm very cute. You're look very at my chic shoulder. And cute. Look at my shoulder. Yeah, it's great. Okay. It's good. It's a good shoulder. Thank you. You're gonna do two dashes of Pichaud's bitters and one dash of Agnostura. Oh. Shoulder time. Shoulder time. See. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna, I can't wait to log in all my other accounts and be like, Nikki's shoulder looks like shit. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's so mean. That's mean. I don't do that. All right, ready? A dash? Yeah, two dash. One dash. Yeah. Okay, good job. There's no way you could taste the difference between before and after. Well, I don't believe that. Add some ice? Okay, okay now you stir that. Stir, stir that. Chill it. Yeah. 
While he's stirring that, I am taking a glass that's been chilling in the freezer. It's a rock glass. Whoa. Yeah. That's like one. That's like cool, a Martha right? Stewart show. You know how she takes out a whole lasagna from underneath the Oh yeah, the yeah. She's like, in that here, I was one. I already made a whole freaking lasagna, and you're like, Jesus. You have to have your shit together on another level for that. It's true. I have my shit together on this show. Yeah, okay. you do. A chilled glass, and what we're gonna do is pour a little bit of absinthe in, enough to rinse the glass. Basically, we're gonna just like swirl it around and coat it in absinthe. Whoa. And then we're gonna pour out the excess. So we're not drinking absinthe. Just like a little bit in there. And uh, swish it around. It's so scary. Go stir your drink. Oh, I did. Do your job. Just swishing it around. You could find Very the absinthe cool. in your grocer's freezer. Now we're gonna strain that into this glass. Now we're gonna take, just like the orange peel, we're gonna take a little bit of a lemon peel and twist it into our drink. It's just like I'm in the actual one of these mixology bars. Yeah, it's just take. Take 35 minutes to get a freaking drink. <laughs> With this little peel, we're gonna twist it over the drink. <laughs> Shut up. And then we're gonna rub it around the glass. <laughs> Do you have a problem? This is absurd. This is why you're just a taster. You'll no. never be a you'll never be a pourer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm too blue collar for this shit, dude. I'm like, are you kidding me? Who do you, who do you think drinks these? No, they don't. LA douchebags drink this stuff. Okay. okay. Anyway. Yeah. This is a Sazerac. Interesting. <laughs> it just to me, it just tastes like bourbon. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Do you taste the difference between just straight bourbon and that? Slightly, sure. I mean, it's just yeah. a little sweeter. Yeah. But um, I think I'd just rather just have bourbon. You know what? Actually, the aftertaste of it, I can taste the absinthe, like the, mm -hmm. the, like the flavors of the absinthe. That's kind of good. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's good. It's pretty good, actually. I like it. I think that's a good drink. I think out of all three of them, I like the old fashioned the best. Agreed, and then this one. Yeah. I mean, that's just drinking out of a we tire. We just don't, dude. we don't like the Manhattans. Nah, dude. I mean, they could just retire. Thank you. Just retire them. Sazerac. I think they should also make them illegal because I don't like it. Nope. They should make Manhattans illegal because I, because if it's that's, something I don't like, it should become illegal. No, that's what I think. But other people like it. That's okay. Well, but that's I, really I think that's it's really bad. Mean. So then it should become, it should become outlawed. Well, Sazerac. Oh. <laughs> Puns are on my list too, dude. I'm getting rid of puns. As soon as, getting rid of puns, oh yeah. As soon as I'm in office, dude, they're, they're illegal for sure. 100 percent illegal. They'll come into your home, they'll drag you in the street, and and they'll 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 remove you from the population. I I want another old fashioned. I oh, know. Make me one. No, make me one. No, you make me no, one. No, you make me one. Okay, it'll take 35 minutes more, but okay. Good. What do I do? Good. Okay. I'll wait. All right. You'll be sober by then. You do everything around here. Yeah, well, you'll be completely, completely sober by then. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, simple bourbon drinks. Um, I am happy that I know how to make them now. They're very simple. You don't have to have mixers. Doesn't matter who who's coming over and when. Only takes an hour. You can make them a drink. That's pretty good. It took us less than 20 minutes to make three drinks. 35 minutes. All right, don't make one for Steve. But anyone else you have, have coming over, make them a drink. And subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.